Bon. On va reprendre ça. Il est étrange que cela puisse paraître. J'ai bien dormi. Putain. Fait du bien. Pas complètement éclaté. Un petit peu décalé du fait d'avoir dormi euh... 9 heures. Rien qu'un petit café ne puisse régler. Alors, euh... hier j'avais été chassé le Wapiti légendaire, mais c'est tout ce que j'ai fait d'après de... stream. Où es-tu les rats dans le saloon X. carabine dans le Mister, take this. Who earned every cent? I killed worse. Hey, Mister. de magasin, moins 25%.
Roger. is boring, no? It kept me amused mm -hmm. some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Hey. Hello, mister. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, Move next time. Sir, Brother Dorking told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that'll work! Don't hurt him, please! We'll be at the cathedral. Oh, no, my mother gave me that when I was a girl. <laughs> You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Hey, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way. Hey. Oh, thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Oh, Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Maybe your eyes don't work so good no more. Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. Oh, God, please! <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Hi, now. I mean, uh, hey, help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering me. Now. Someone help me. Officer, yeah, help. Yeah,
mort ou vif. Oh, ok, ça va. Excuse me, father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. No, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? <laughs> Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is... <sighs> greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but... My mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, father? Brother Dorkins found him. I told you. Brother Dorkins was fantastic. Salut, Nero. Oh, okay, oui. You came. Yeah. I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. <coughs> Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to <laughs> you. <laughs> Surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter. And wanting better for her than, than, than me. Je crois que than the choices you had. Oh, I know. You had to live by your code, but your code is, well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you and Jamie joining a bunch of crazies, and hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling. Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you, begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else. But... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. 
Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace, a man of his standing has to ride around on some <laughs> old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for it. This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. <laughs> Annoncier, pas, pas si en fait c'est. irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I am no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. He went around the corner. Oh. Hold up, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We're just following the smell. Arthur. Come on. He just went between those crates. Come here. Uh, quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You see the... the grenades out. He'll hear you. Ces explosions. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here.
he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Yeah. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was it's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even a to sell. Oh, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself oh, killed. You don't understand. Nice Mother enough. left it to me. Yeah. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. <laughs> He'll probably kill someone. Sauf que pour euh, utiliser un, une carte d'acquisition, il faut quand même que ton PC puisse supporter. Et c'est qui réceptionne. Aucune endurance ce cheval. Corde avec mon PC sur PC. Ça n'empêche que quand tu dois record euh, ou même... Euh Bon, euh, streamer, il faut quand même que le PC qui réceptionne puisse encoder et réceptionner ce que tu lui envoies. Quoi. Enfin, surtout le streaming, mais bon. is to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Ouais, y a peut-être un logiciel d'encodage qui va avec, mais ça ne veut pas dire que par magie, le PC, il va pas consommer de ressources. C'est ça qu'il faut quand même un PC qui puisse suivre. Ah, good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. $25, that's my final offer. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Mais bon, si ton PC est assez puissant, il peut aussi. Je sais pas, il dit que son portable est vieux et qu'il supporte mal. C'est que je m'inquiète, moi. Je 
I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Windows 7 pour avoir internet portable. It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <rire> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. Ah non, pas de PC. <rire> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <rire> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lim. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <coughs> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just starting or not? Are you in a the rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare. For the grandest excitement of Bonne soirée de Remax. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly Stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Une approche. Trench comprends. <rire> Oh, 
J'essaie quand même de m'imaginer le trench qu'en con. Le mec qui sort des tranchées. dit en ceinture de, de MG mais likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women you are about to do both <laughs> miss antoinette sanserino stop it De rien, les éclairages sont bien en fait. Eh ouais mais euh, je peux pas... Pire je peux sortir du théâtre mais... <rire> L'autre qui va râler.
enchanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home to mother. <laughs> it is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris! Pas ton French concon. Les 50 copyrights pour les musiques. Elles sont en train de bronzer le front de champ en soutif avec la physique. <rire> Mec dans le, dans le public. Oui, j'avais qu'un deux là. Ah, écoute. Oh, incredible. Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Oh, inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> Deux guignols au fond. Alright. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous. But somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh... Is it too late for us, Arthur? Oh, I 
Get out of here. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will, once I get some money. If I had some. Then some fool got her trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. On a 3000 dollars quand même à l'époque, c'était pas mal, je pense. Days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain, he's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <laughs> How are we gonna get enough money for the passage of a whole boat, a captain's discretion, and land enough to keep us all? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't <laughs> know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, this is robbery. <coughs> Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me. Pas comme ça que je vais y aller, je vous. Mais j'ai deux flingues. We just want money. Just kill you. Mr. M. Braquage d'une petite fin. <rire> Le mec en plein braquage, euh, non. <rire> This one, dying. It's your choice, not mine. Kindly open that gate and let Stop my that, please. inside. I said, open the gate and let my acquaintance in. Yes, of course. Why aren't you taking donations, Mr. M? Hand over all your money now. Faire du karma. All your money now, don't make me ask twice. It's yours, have it. Okay, give me everything you've got. There's nothing much here. Quick, okay? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you. Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Murder! It's a setup. 
Greasy son of a bitch, he set us up. You think it seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur? What are you gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> Go now. Go. Does this trolley go to Tahiti? Et pourquoi je... Ah putain mais j'ai pas de balles Foutez de ma gueule Ah voilà c'est mieux Putain il casse les couilles à me faire sortir une arme qui a pas de balles Pistolet, je l'ai retiré de l'équipement, mais... Putain, il va me le faire à chaque fois. Seul jeu crash. Très bien, on joue. Pire ici, on est dans une zone euh, qui demande peut-être beaucoup. On a, on a peut-être des, des drops de frame sur le, sur le stream, c'est tout. Take them out! 
Ah, hello. C'est pas la, la maison de l'italien. Ouais, si. Ah oui, c'est lui qui nous a niqué, je crois. Ah, ça en va aller à peine, maintenant on a une carriole. Ils sont invincibles. Ah, tir continu sans. Rendre. Ok, c'est bon ça. Maintenant, avec le dédaille, on peut tirer en gardant le ralenti. Ah, J'imagine que c'est ça. We fuck him up. Money, one more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that, especially after that. I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. Viens, Dada. J'ai exprès d'équiper des armes que j'ai modifiées et dans le, la mission, on me donne des armes que j'ai pas modifiées. C'est sympa ça. Tant qu'il fait froid. Bureau de poste. You've got mail. Oh oui, je veux aussi avoir une fameuse prime à payer. Oh oui. C'est peut-être autre chose ça. Ok. 
Can I help you? Des rats. Invitation du maire le mieux. Thanks. Monsieur Kilgor, j'ai été ravi de faire votre connaissance à la résidence l'autre soir. Dans ma fonction, on, raconte tellement de gens on rencontre tellement de gens qu'on s'y perd un peu. Toutefois, j'ai remarqué que vous étiez près de mon bureau quand ce pauvre Pierre a eu un accident et que certains documents ont disparu. Je fais de la politique depuis trop longtemps pour lancer des accusations à la légère, mais depuis assez longtemps pour obtenir les services qui me sont dus. Votre enthousiasme et votre esprit d'aventure pourraient bien s'être accordés avec mon cynisme de l'ancien monde. » Faites-moi au moins le plaisir d'un rendez-vous. Passez par derrière ma résidence le soir de votre choix. Frappez à la porte, mon assistant Jean-Marc vous ouvrira. Salut moi tout dis-je. On va voir à quelle sauce on va se faire bouffer. Nothing. Les flics, mais ah ouais. Tu fais ça, ermite, hein? Parfois il aimerait, mais il ne le fait pas. Ya, 
Good girl. <rire> C'est très discrètement, on entend avec le cheval dans la cour. <rire> Government, democracy. An interesting idea. Monsieur le mieux? Le mieux. Ah, lui, lui c'est un vrai français. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Oh, on a l'air. Tacitus Kilgo. Oh, really? Okay. Francophonie plutôt. You are not going to rob me again, are you? <coughs> no. I'm sorry. Uh, Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But... Uh, yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? <laughs> Nobody. You are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing. Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. <laughs> And how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference. And I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings and is saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. Donc la vieille fait des proutes. Come sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. As I said, he is a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend, you ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. Must we go so fast? You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on air guns, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Well, luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Ah, ça tourne bien ça mais Faut que je bouge ma souris pour voir où je vais Une galerie professeur Shiftaker <rire>
there, sir? Excuse me. Oh. Hello? The mayor asked me to get a preview of your findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I've found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's going to upset a lot of people. Myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. <laughs> now I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's going to take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. I gotta punch you to change your mind. I, I couldn't. My reputation. You gonna think of your reputation when your brain is jelly? I I'd never be published again. Maybe I'll just kill you. Make this all go away. <laughs> I relent. I relent. Academic reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Y yes, sir. I, 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 I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, uh, really. I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. Um, because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no. We don't want that. Of course uh, we I'll don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. Fine morning to you. So, it turns out all those paintings were real after all. <sighs> Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. <laughs> <laughs> was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is a fight. <laughs> Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's open. Yeah. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. Ouais. <laughs> j'aime bien, j'aime bien son nom, c'est Shiftace. Tu intervertis le T et le F, c'est ça donne shit face. <rire> Ou alors c'est un jeu de mots à la base, je ne sais pas, mais... C'est que ça pourrait bien être. Qui, qui se traduit shitface par face de merde. Hein, <rire> voilà. Pour les, les moins anglophonés. Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite, enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. <laughs> But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Hmm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An esthete? <gasps> 
An artist. Well, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china, sir. It is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area, not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven. <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Thank you. Pardon me. Oh, sorry. Strange, strange man. Chills yet? Trilogy. doing Bien, pero hemos Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lana Hassi River. Oh, bordel de merde. Like this? Yeah? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine, no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. A very good choice, sir. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. <laughs> Come on, let's get you to the barber. On them distingue. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big oh, and quickly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. Okay. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. <laughs> you will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! My good man. 
Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? <laughs> this unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Right. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir. Uh. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. <laughs> Tout préparé. To the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Uh, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't win any up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <coughs> Indeed. The fact that I don't know how to <coughs> Don't worry, that has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, we've an emergency here. We are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. <laughs> good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author oh, of his Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. Morning, partner. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? <laughs> Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's go. L'autre qui en tout dégueulasse dans le visage et. Oh là, il est mal rasé. Ouais, non, il est juste mal rasé. Enfin, mal rasé. Champagne, all around. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. I'm so too dangerous. River boat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money, or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Take a seat, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. <laughs> Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. 
Let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. Uh... I like this <laughs> we aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> Action automatique. Oui. We'll see about that. I don't know why I'm doing this, but race. Here we go then. Hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. Nice. <laughs> Goodbye, Mais aucune idée de ce que je fais. You and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. La bague qui se barre et qui sait pas you know, trop ce qu'elle doit faire. I thought about getting in a hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Let's up the stakes a little. All that. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Fais oui de la tête, mais. Nah, I'm folding. I'm sorry, my friend. I thought you was a player. I ain't got time to waste on fools and cowards. J'ai pas fait le, le move que je pensais faire en fait. Je ne comprends rien. <rire> Se coucher, moi je pensais que je voulais de mettre le tout, le total quoi. <rire> ah mon dieu. Se coucher donc c'est abandonné quoi. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Yeah, I'm gonna race. All that. Et donc on est censé. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Call. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. <laughs> Ship. Ship. I guess my luck hell. Is that you done? Done. Bust. All right, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why, I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. 
Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. <coughs> T'es déjà en double roi, donc normalement... Damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion. Where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Okay. Of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. Your hand on the top of 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 the the of very good. Next, we'll be hiring me, Rose. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. D'autres gardes. Euh, là va être problématique. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <rire> Idiot, hein? Ah ok. Il la tenait bien en main son arme. Il me dit ok, on va éviter de faire des casualties. Mais non, il faut pas tirer dans son arme, il faut lui tirer dans la tête. C'est le genre de truc qui m'ennuie un petit peu, tu vois, quand un jeu il te dit « Ok, tu peux faire ça, mais quand on veut bien que tu le fasses. » Ok, je vais crash. Moi, ouais, je n'ai pas encore au courant qu'il a crash. Alors s'y habituer, hein, ça devient récurrent. Oh putain non, j'espère qu'on aura au moins une putain de sauvegarde quelque part. Oh bordel. C'est vrai que j'avais pas pensé à ça. À chaque fois, on doit refaire l'entièreté de la mission.
Nuit de débauche. Putain de bordel de merde. A mon avis, j'aurais pu jouer plus gros histoire d'avoir plus de gains en fin de compte. Et ici, je jouais au... Euh... Voilà quoi. <rire> que... J'imagine que si à chaque fois je mets l'entièreté euh, de... Enfin, une grosse grosse mise, bah, j'aurais plus quand même euh, à la fin. Et là, je jouais petit, je savais pas trop euh, ce que je faisais. Mon petit, euh... donc en fin de compte, euh, je fais bien 400 dollars de, de bénéf. Mais... Puisque je ne mettrai jamais euh, dans des jeux de hasard, mais. Bon, on pourra peut-être passer voilà, les cinématiques. Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like a very good choice, sir. It was the English's fault, is gra- Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. Je crois qu'après une nuit de débauche, on débloque également une arme ou un truc dans le genre. J'avais regardé un petit peu. Dans la liste des armes, il me semble qu'il y en a une qui se débloque après ça. Well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil field and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Still haven't heard from Anderson. There, very smart. Jusque là, on savait. <laughs> Come on, let's get to the rocks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. Il est en train de George, to the Grand Gorgon, please. Grand okay. Gorgon, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach. We can't bring you up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. 
Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't ham. So, who's a mark? Are you all right, by the way, driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go okay. way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is shitting, the house, <laughs> how does he know what cards I got? He won't. C'est en tout cas que pour les deux dernières, je peux mettre tout ce que j'ai. Become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? Didn't he? And what money am I playing? Don't worry, that has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. We are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss. Ouais, ça c'est euh, pour l'avoir en gold. Et j'imagine que c'est les succès euh, et store ou Xbox Live. Gentlemen. Mais bon, les succès euh, Rockstar Games, mais on bat un peu les couilles. Ça aurait été sur Steam, bon, allez, mais. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Champagne. All around. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. On mettra à profit le nouveau euh, ralenti. Well, okay. Mais les médailles, c'est, enfin, c'est comme je dis, c'est pour euh, les succès, quoi. Récompense du jeu. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this. <sighs> Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Hell with it. Now, nah, I'm out. Think I'll wait for this seat to warm up a bit. I thought as much. Maybe you should have another drink, Mr. Callahan. Here we go then. Well, Hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. 
Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. I'm going to call. Interesting. Hey, cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? <laughs> done. But, so you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Well, help. Is the author of his nothing ventured, fortune. nothing gained. Pear cake. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! Quand même rien pigé à ce qui se passe. Well played, sir. Unlucky Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but please cash these out for me. Gentlemen, you knew. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> We live in strange times. Ouais, mais ça. <laughs> C'est ce qui est important, ouais. Du reste. Putain, c'est pas sérieux Bordel de merde. Pas une question de zen, c'est une question que le jeu il est. Bah, il est pas bien optimisé, c'est tout. Dès que t'as un lieu où il y a des PNJ en nombre ou des conneries dans le genre, le jeu il sait plus ce qu'il doit faire, il s'en sort plus. C'est moi. Mais de quoi Mais de quoi
C'est une zone avec énormément de PNJ, d'effets de lumière et de conneries dans le genre et le jeu bah il, il supporte pas quoi. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. The problem is that the game crashes after a while. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs. Alors quand tu parles... Ah oui, non, si, je vois. <coughs> quand tu parles des missions, ouais, à la fin, on met une... Euh... À la fin, tu as soit euh, le, le logo de la mission qui apparaît en... En bronze, enfin, en bronze, ou euh, argent, ou or. Mais euh... Je sais pas si ça influence quoi que ce soit. in and you take whatever you want you don't think they might see an armed mexican coming into the safe with me sure they might but perhaps not you will see the suspense is killing me je sais pas ça influence peut-être sur l'argent qu'on gagne ou c'est peut-être juste no this is just the kind of juste le les succès well, after the past couple of months armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime no but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. There. No, very smart. It's not good. Come on. Let's get to the box. I arranged some transportation for us. Okay, Hermit. <coughs> a plus tard ou à la prochaine. Si je décide de, de jeter le jeu par la fenêtre. J'espère que le prochain patch qu'ils vont sortir va nous faire gagner quelques FPS. Ce serait déjà très très bien. Et beaucoup, beaucoup moins de crash. J'espère, j'espère, parce qu'on a eu un patch après le jour après la sortie, ou la, la nuit, la, non, pendant la nuit après la sortie plutôt. Mais bon, ça, ça fait déjà six jours, quoi. Oh, <rire> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. 
What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Champagne all around. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. Now where can I get a cocktail? Take a seat, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan, sir. Pourrait, mais en un moment, faudra bien que je revienne à celle-là, donc. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. Mec, il s'assied, il se couche. Now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but. Yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Good. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would say <coughs> oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. My luck hell. Is that you done? Done. First. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone well, is the author of his own. Nothing business. ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Please, cash these out for me. Gentlemen, you knew. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. 
We live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Nous espérons qu'une fois que cette partie sera faite, les PNJ vont disparaître, ou du moins une partie. On va alléger le bordel et poser moins de problèmes. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. <laughs> nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you have senor. fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life, you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Come on, Arthur. Les choses. <rire> Et on va où Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, a uh, Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Ça va pas crash. Oh, 
Okay then, girl. Ou alors c'est elle croco qu'on débloque à ce moment là, je ne sais plus. Il y a un truc qu'on débloquait après cette mission, je suis presque certain. Presque. are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of... European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic, <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. Uh, <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> oh, <shop day>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, <laughs> you are about to witness history. <laughs> A demonstration of my infinite insight. <coughs> All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I, I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. <laughs> Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make nest the explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! <laughs> if this is a mission, we can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships. Technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling you. Ooh. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. <laughs> hey, that one's gone too. You see what stupid man does? You see what he does? Autre chose que la mission RC de San Andreas, hein? Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Thunder. There, I'm gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> This is really remarkable. 
This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now Ooh. the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Still avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. <rire> C'était obligé. Je devais le faire. Let me just reload. This is really remarkable. This is just a demonstration. Après, il fallait pas le faire, mais. The real miracles require investment. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. No, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires, coal, or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. Look who rules the seas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <coughs> I hope you... She's really content. <laughs> Armurier. Sortiment de biscuits. Ça va repousser de tracasse. On va tomber la gueule à terre deux trois fois et sera comme avant. Ah, you're back. Come on in. Do you need any assistance? Okay, now let me see. The grape shot. Ok, j'avais pas compris que c'était. C'était en 12 en fait. C'est ma fille advocate, c'est parce que c'est le judge en fait le, le nom du, <rire> du revolver qui tire du... Euh... Du gripshot. Pas des... Oui. Je bretine. It really suits you. I've got some better stocks that would fit that gun. Can add to stability. That's a fine firearm. Uh huh. I could fit some different stocks for you. Could make it more comfortable on the shoulder. Oh, you don't mess around. 
Do you have enough ammunition for that thing? Excellent. And that should be good. See you again. Out of the damn way. Come on, girl. Il fait moins de dégâts que les autres, mais il est semi-auto. Bah, il se défend quand même, en fait. On va vite avoir une occasion de le tester. <laughs> <Hey, laughs> do I know you? Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flags. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. Okay, so can you, okay. You have great powers of observation. Yes, my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago, this will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. <coughs> it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with oh, the Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. <laughs> Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Look out! 
Let's go, girl. Ein Notfall. Mission pour Dutch. de la ville histoire de tirer quelques coups de shotty voir comment il se comporte avec les slugs il doit faire le taf des sangliers ils vont passer un sale moment Pour faire du poison ça. Ça s'annonce bien. a little robbery, all right? Nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. That yeah, sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now, who you want to go with? I guess you. Now? <laughs> I don't need no hand holding off of Oh, come on, kid. <laughs> but if we decide to do it once we've had the look, I'm taking half the money. 
<rire> D'abord. Alright, let's get going then. It should be on its way right now. It seems like only yesterday you and me were shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Yeah, no. I'll be glad to leave this. Qui est chevaux maintenant? Got a bad feel to it. At least he's got a roof. Oh, you ain't even 20 years old. Time will come. Follow me. I saw a good spot for an ambush. So who's the feller told you about this? It's a sound lead. I told you. What did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean, did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay, okay, I do. You've more than proved yourself the past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys. For three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. Uh, those fellers who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again right now. Of course. Okay, here we are. Easy. Let's leave the horses off the road to the right here. En toute discrétude. Parfait. I figured we take up position behind these rocks. Yeah, seems good. The stage should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. Venir. There it is. And I don't see no escorts neither. <laughs> This should be a cakewalk. Are you sure about that? Ouais. You see any? As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? I said wait for Lead. This is a rock. Drop your weapons and put your hands in the air. I said drop the weapons. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. All right, boy. Anyone else? Anyone inside there? Answer me. Last chance. Come out or we're coming in. Shit. U.S. Marshals, you're... <laughs> Je vais beaucoup trop abuser de ce flingue. Yeah. Are you? Evidently. That was not the way I was expecting things to go. You took us into a trap. Look, I'm telling you, it was good information. Wait. Look. Look, there's some money here. 
Not much. Yeah, it ain't much, because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. They set up traps oh. to catch fools. Shit. Like you and me. <sighs> I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. But you're still alive, so don't worry too much about it. Come on, get out of here before any more turn up. All right. See you back at camp. Ouais, mais on n'a pas assez de munitions au total et elles partent beaucoup trop vite les balles. C'est pour ça que maintenant j'ai le double revolver. Qui a plus de dégâts, qui a une très bonne précision et on a 400 balles à la place de 200. Ça semblait beaucoup 200 mais ça, ça, ça part très très vite. Ah, un zavi de recherche. On va voir nos têtes placardées au mur. Là où, là où on se calme les gars, on se calme. Parce que je vais utiliser le pouvoir du ralentissage. C'est voulu que le canon recule à chaque balle. Ouais, ça, c'est sûr. You're free, my friend. You have no idea how thankful I am. You ain't home and dry yet. Run along. I know. I think they hid my things in one of those boxes. Sir, they're yours. Might just be a hero, me. Good luck to you. Toujours une sur douze, je sais pas pourquoi. Ah, 
On a gagné une centaine de dollars, mais je sens que la prime va s'élever au même niveau. Ah non, 25. Ça devient pénible. pas non plus à courir avec euh, 300 dollars de prime en permanence donc quand j'avais des grosses primes de temps en temps il y avait un bon grand groupe qui se ramenait mais bon vu que je les paye à chaque fois bah tranquille qui m'affiche la map pour être sûr la mission était bien lancée euh, sinon il y a quand même le comment le, le chariot que je dois voler pour euh, avec de l'alcool dedans C'est peut-être parce que je les vends qu'il me dit que j'en ai 12. Je sais pas si j'ai bien compris ta phrase en fait parce que c'était pas su bien construit Si je suis en train de aller chercher la prime.
ain't going till you get this right. I can't, Daddy, please. Let him in. He's been trying for hours. He ain't no kind of man till he can get on a horse. I can't do it, Daddy. Stamp, let him rest. My son. <gasps> They're here for your bounty. <gasps> Come to Mama, boy. Go oh, shoot. I'm an arm. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? Don't shush the flag. I'm gonna fight you in front of my family. Okay? Take me, take me. Bastard. Don't look away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. Enough with that. Just remember what I said, boy. Le fresque veut mal. <rire> Now the fun starts. Il aurait bien sa frime, moi. Mais ouais, je pensais aussi qu'on pourrait. Euh... Bon, on pas envie. This is Rhodes. You're almost shot him. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. 
You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out in the bayou. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't, but those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. Okay, girl. Bon, on va essayer de voir pour cette fameuse diligence de, de alcool. L'autre guignol. Oh, les Hold your horses, won't be long. Well, hello again. I got How another do, one. Sir? You interested? How's things, Alden? Good. All right. This is a little different. Take the coach and deliver it to my contact. It'll pay you well for it. It's a fragile cargo, so go easy. Okay, but well, the money best be right. Oh, it is, Arthur. I promise, it's very right. Bon. C'est pas comme je le pensais. Il m'a donné un papier. Faudrait peut-être que je lise euh, voir si l'on a. Enfin, si on a sûrement donné un autre. On est passé, il faudrait qu'un chariot d'antiquité arrivera. Pour un acheteur à road, il ne devrait pas y avoir de quelqu'un qui arrive, livrer assez bien, ça me plaît, attention pour endommager le chargement de la cargaison. Ouais, C'est sûrement comme ça que je vais avoir les infos pour l'autre euh, cargaison d'alcool. Je me rappelle plus s'il m'avait donné un papier juste. Hein. Enfin, bref. dans d'hiver. Ok. Parfait. On va d'abord s'occuper de l'autre. On ira voler l'alcool. C'est bon un moment et ensuite la chaleur se barre en deux secondes. Ouais.
Et mon foulard, je dois être vachement discret. C'est pas trop loin. Ça va. On devrait pouvoir le garder en un seul morceau. C'est mon cheval euh, trop loin. Pensez à l'appeler. Dix dollars. Dix dollars. Attendez, je vais répéter. Dix dollars. Attends, le mec, je lui apporte une cargaison d'objets rares, deux chevaux et une carriole. 10 dollars. Ah, 
Where's this shine? Ouais, trop. Who we got here? Okay then. Je sens sale d'attaquer des pauvres gens comme ça. <rire> You're a wonderful man, wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell the Third. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Uh, oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money. <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? <laughs> chair full of okay. Fascinating, it calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Uh. Uh, do you know the police chief? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Out of the way! Well, it's a pleasure. Karma. C'est pas bien. Ah, C'est l'artiste ça. 
voilà. I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you need, uh, Chief. I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair, and he uh wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you a hundred dollars in fees. Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatch. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Morning to you. You must be damn stupid if you think you can come back here. Shit fire. Some wrong Something with you. the matter? Some of these fools want to get caught. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he's sturdy <coughs> enough and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immortal husbandry, what's that? Mine shudders. <laughs> okay. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. <laughs> okay, then, girl. Est-ce que je me trouve, trouve toutes ces viandes préparées En fait, de temps en temps, mais nature, quoi. Attends, il peut 
peut pas être plus loin aussi. Good one. sur la map qu'il y a des ennemis dans ce coin là ah c'est là encore ça en décampement des Audriscoll ou du mec que je suis venu chercher Daniel ne s'en fout pas.
You take care now. Take me to damn court then! <laughs> this ain't America! We ain't free no more! <laughs> Can't raise no animals, take no wives! All I did was graze my livestock! Married them that needed marrying. Killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. It's you that's wrong. We was trying to live free. You came along and laid waste. Take me in. Just take me to the jailhouse. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. Oh, shit. What the hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but... I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you. You mean? No! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. Well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? No, I ain't ever seen the actual impact. I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air. The smell of burning hair. No. There must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. Cool. It's half like the. That's the fellow that took our moose. I'm sorry about that, McDaniels. You all right? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, me too. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. <laughs>
plein d'oreilles des PNJ dans les GTA. Ils s'excitent pour rien. Surtout les flics. Je crois que le prochain stream, j'ai essayé de le passer par euh, Envenk. Un système Nvidia qui passe en fait l'encodage non pas sur le CPU mais sur la carte graphique. Et donc il y a un processeur sur la carte graphique spécialement prévu pour ça mais... Euh, C'est devenu intéressant avec la nouvelle génération donc les, la série 2000. Parce qu'avant la qualité était pas ouf du tout. Mais avec cette génération c'est mieux. Et euh, je l'avais pas utilisé depuis un moment parce que j'avais cru que c'était ça en fait qui causait éventuellement les problèmes que j'avais de, de perte de, de connexion. Ouais, pas vraiment de perte de connexion. À la base je savais pas que c'était des pertes de connexion vu que je, le stream se coupait mais je gardais la connexion internet. Bref, du coup je l'avais désactivé et je l'ai pas réactivé depuis... Euh, je vais essayer de le faire pour le prochain stream parce que euh, si c'est un jeu qui est très gourmand sur le CPU, je crois que c'est à cause de ça qu'on a un petit peu de, de base de framerate sur le stream. Donc clairement que c'est pas à 60 fps. Le jeu lui-même a probablement du mal aussi à maintenir les 60 fps vraiment spécifiquement dans ce coin, mais... Ça devrait quand même aider. Je suis censé le suivre ou je peux faire ce que je veux. Il n'y a pas de discussion ni quoi que ce soit. Oh bordel.
fameux cornball. chaud de vivre dans un endroit comme ça. Sors de la ville, il y a des alligators un peu partout. Et des marées à perte de vue. La belle ambiance. Je l'ai. Il tourne la chambre. On resterait là pour aujourd'hui. Et donc voilà, c'est tout pour aujourd'hui. Essayer d'enregistrer de, du Spacorps. Et on se retrouvera demain, comme d'habitude, aux heures et demie. Ça passe bien. Et sur ce, bien, passez une bonne soirée, une bonne nuit. Et à la prochaine. A plus, Néro.